So today in like the world, try, trying to deal with the local utilities, the power companies, because like everybody's kind of been bought up, re, re, redistributed in different ways. So there's very few comp- you know, there's very few places that you go where the um, utility is the same, you know, 10, 15 years ago. So um, we're doing this job, and it's a um, great little place. They got like it's like a, a horse farm area, so it's a private road, um, overhead lines, and um, the folks are doing up their their, their spot with um, putting a barn up, you know, doing a pasture over and things like that. And they have an overhead line coming off this private road to their their house, and it's I don't know. A few poles, and then down to a overhead service on the house. So it's like they want to eliminate that. They want to open up the um, the field area, so they want to get rid of these this overhead line and stuff. So it's fine, no problem. Pull a permit with with the city, with the town, and uh, started a work order with the uh, local utility. And um, you know, you don't talk to any like, you know particular engineer <laughs> or anything like that, but you put in a work request. This was uh, with Unitel. And so um, told them what we were going to do. They issued the work order. And I was like, well, you're going to do a site visit. And the technician that I was talking about, well, it wasn't a technician, it was customer service rep, has said, uh, nope, we'll, we're fine. Just when we hear from the wire inspector, we'll come in uh, to our side. And I said, okay. So I said, well, all right, you take these poles take this overhead line out and we're going to take the poles out and um, fine we'll reconnect and we're good so did the work and um, got the work complete and uh, I had gone away now so I'm away and uh, I'm actually out sailing and I'm up up the uh, coast of Maine and I get a phone call from the wire inspector Oh, you're in trouble now, he says. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He says, you got, you guys took down poles that were owned by Unitel, and you connected to their load side of their transformer. And I says, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm telling him, wait a second now. We got a work order here. and We were just told to get in touch with them after we were finished, and you were going to notify them, and they were going to come out. So our underground service lateral went out to the pole, then we transitioned to conduit went up the pole you know we just galvanized went up the pole and we used uh, it was a 200 amp service we, we left the plane line left a loop and then tapped onto the uh, load side of the existing conductors that were there you know so like we didn't we didn't actually attach to their transform but we just bugged on to the lines that were originally feeding the uh, the overhead lines were feeding the house so, anyways, I'm out. I'm, I can't see shore from here, and, and I'm out with a buddy of mine. And now I'm in touch with Unitel, and I'm like going through different multiple offices, being told like, you know, I'm in trouble. You, we're going to have to meet with you. And I'm like, um, you, you guys, you know, you, this is this is like on you guys. You guys, we we pulled a permit, dealt with your, we got a cert work order. Um, I have all the notes from that work order, and, and none of them were you doing a site visit or any restrictions on what we were doing. So, you know, I kind of held my ground on that, and um, now I'm in a, like a t- in, a, um, a, in a communication now by email and stuff. And so, like, so we're, we're out at sea, and uh, it's not bad out, but, like, you know, we get rollers and stuff like that, and so, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this on my my phone <laughs> and next thing you know I'm seasick right because I'm like trying to read and type and like stuff like that and I've been dealing with these guys on the phone I get seasick I got a headache it's like horrible right so anyway I, I told them I can't I can't do anything until I get back I'm gonna have to deal with this so had them have a meeting at on site with the wire inspector with two supervisors from Unitel and um, a field tech, right? It's like, okay, fine. Let's do that. Let's go out there and check it out, you know? Because they want to cite me for, like, being within, a, uh, I think it was four feet from their transformer, their line side, their lines. Um, 
I don't even think that they knew what, what, what they were talking about because um, we weren't anywhere near the line side. I mean, we're bugging on to the um, secondary lines that were the original overheads to the house. And um, it was a private road. They didn't seem to have a care in the world when we first got involved in the job. But now, right? Now, right? And you don't allow for this stuff in your, uh, when you quote jobs, right? It's like, you know, you figure like, you know, it's a straightforward job, right? You're just going to, um, you know, change out a service, put a new service lateral in, and be on your way. And then all of a sudden it's like, you know, you're way on a vacation. They disrupt your vacation. Ajita, I get Ajita, right? So like, it's like, oh, and then you get back, right? And, and like, all the poles are gone, right? Because um, we actually subbed that out and get rid of the poles. So it's like, hey, we need you to get rid of these poles for us, right? Nobody wanted them. You tell them want them, right? So anyways, I meet them out on site when I get back from my trip. And, um, you know, they were nice enough and everything. You know, but you could tell they were getting the hammer from above. It wasn't it wasn't them. So I don't know like what it was all about. So the wire inspector is trying to figure out like, okay, how can we get out of this situation? You know, but the engineers that were from the Unitel were trying to, well, how can we, how can we mitigate this and, you know, figure this out? Cause it seemed like somebody from over above wanted to, you know, crucify me or something. Right. So I presented all my notes to them. I had the work order number. I had my calls into the wire inspector. We talked about the job beforehand. And then after all this drama, right, come to find out, they didn't own the poles. They didn't own any of the wiring out there, right? So it's like, it's like I don't know if I like missed a bullet or, or what, but it's like when you're dealing with these utility companies, you know, like it's like, or any of these large institutions, right? It's like, you know, their policies, if they're, if they're not setting their policies correct and, and you get involved in something, I'm not, I'm not, you gotta look, dig into it a little bit more. Like, you know, like now retrospect, like if I get a job and we're taking polls out like that, no, we're, everything is like formal documentation. Not gonna get into that pickle again, you know? I mean, we've, we've, we've done a number of jobs where we've relocated polls, um, all kinds of stuff, and never had any issues, you know? But I think that was in a different world. So, like, today's world, you know, you get, you get people, like, kind of, like, pushing their agendas downhill on everybody. So, it's like, you know, it's like, it's a, t- it's a tickly world out there now. You know, you're out there just trying to do your job, and it um, seems like everything above you is trying to get you in a um, technicality of some sorts, you know? It's like, um, you know... Obviously, working working around electric and live wires is uh, gonna be a dangerous thing. That's why you need to hire someone that knows how to do it, so they don't uh, get hurt. You know, um, and even all these utility guys that do stuff. You know, it's like they, you know, they have special training for that side. So I was like, you know, we don't get involved in any of the high voltage stuff. But this was just secondaries, one twenty. I think it was a, I think it was a 120 240 volt single phase system up there. I don't think it was like a 208 system, you know, three phase system. It was, a, it was like an old private road, overhead lines. So I think I think the only thing the power company owned in that on that fiasco was the transformer. I think that's what it all came down to was their transformer. They didn't own the poles. I bet you they didn't even own the wiring. But um, yeah. So, get to a job like that, make sure you get all your I's dotted and your T's crossed, and then go over it again before you, you know, initially get going on it. And it might be a good idea to have the owner sign off on it too, because, you know, they, you know, they want the job done, right? You, they hire you to do the job, you know, there's, uh, there's some value to that, you know? So, those things there you want to take into consideration. I would think in a big way. You don't want to get caught in a situation where you could get cited on something. And I don't even know what the citing would be. I mean, no idea. You know, I had the permit, I had the work order, I had the notes that we were good to go. 
So, but how much, how much can you fight somebody that size, right? So make sure you get everything in order before you, you know, get involved in, you know, dealing with other people's equipment or potential their equipment. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to stay out of that pickle again. <laughs>